The year 2016 was packed with events and successes that cemented the Kenya Red Cross Society's position as the leading humanitarian relief organization in Kenya. The Society's operations were further redefined through the launch of Strategy 2020, a strategic plan that will guide operations all the way to the year 2020. The strategy is anchored on four key pillars, namely humanitarian service excellence, resource and financial stability, strategic partnerships, and lastly, human and organizational capital. Based on the balance scorecard, I mean, we saw that um, last year was a turning point for us in terms of uh, working back with our regions, working with our branches, working with our volunteers and our members, and the governance. Last year was also the election year where a new governing board was elected. So it was a year where we spent in retraining, reorienting our governing governance leadership and at the same time putting the management structures of the region and the zones in place and then to start implementing the, the new strategy. Organization development was centrally placed as the backbone of the Kenya Red Cross Society to ensure the National Society remains relevant to the communities and the country. As a result, the first elections under the revised constitution were held electing 89 boards at the branch, regional and national levels. The implementation of programs and activities was successfully executed due to our close collaboration with our teams in eight regions, 64 branches and partners that are spread all over the country. We as Kenya Red Cross Society, we train and build capacity from the sub-branch region to the branch region to the county branch to the region and to the national board. I think it's through this capacity building that uh, our knowledge on the movement is, uh, and our disaster preparedness is enhanced and thus we are able to assist and uh, respond immediately. The National Society believes in transformational programs of benefit to the masses that we serve and which lead to institutional growth. A total of 17,034,174 beneficiaries were reached in the year 2016 through cross-sectoral projects that were implemented across the country. The health and social services programming continued to embrace the integration approach to continuously ensure affordable, accessible and equitable community-based healthcare. It had a total of 40 running projects reaching 4,645,314 beneficiaries in the year 2016. The society played a major role in the management and treatment of cholera and chikungunya outbreak in Mandera County. A 60-bed cholera treatment center was set up to effectively manage the cholera cases. A cleanup exercise was also conducted within Mandera town. <laughs> More health objectives were achieved through the Global Fund HIV grant where Kenya Red Cross Society is the non-state principal recipient. In 2016, the program reached 2,559,558 beneficiaries living with HIV or affected by HIV AIDS across 29 high and medium HIV burden counties in Kenya. The main interventions were towards improved access to HIV prevention among key populations and biomedical services through hotspot-based outreaches, static wellness centers, and the mobile wellness clinic van. KRCS was mandated to procure maternity and obstetric care equipment under the Global Fund Round 10 HIV grant. The equipment was distributed to 1,800 health facilities across the 35 counties. The equipment will support the provision of essential maternal and obstetric services in health facilities at the county level. When LVCT and Red Cross came, it has given us powers to empower our people and tell them the importance of taking drugs nearby because this will help them create some savings for their families, will make them live free from stigma, will make them live positively, and will make them feel proud of whom they are. 
In the year 2016, the Water and Sanitation Department set out on a journey to make the realization of sustainable development goals both likely and sustainable, endeavoring to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. There was continued implementation of integrated wash programs in Bomet, Kilifi, Kwale, Taita Taveta and Tana River counties aimed at improving access to clean water, livelihoods, food security, health and nutrition. Eight mega projects were underway in the five counties coupled with rainwater harvesting systems in 15 schools in the counties of Bomet, Kilifi and Taita Taveta. The department reached a total of 486,192 beneficiaries in the year 2016. We are very grateful they have uh, solved the major problem which was there in the school, that they need the toilets, the water for drinking. Uh, the children are now able to learn without my problems. We are free, we are now learning in class, performance has gone, it has risen, and we hope we shall continue. Colossal engagements were witnessed in disaster management operations due to disasters and emergencies that occurred in the country. They include the cholera outbreak where Kenya Red Cross Society assisted 11 counties through control and prevention activities. Other disasters are the chikungunya epidemic in Mandera County, floods, conflict in Baringo, Turkana and West Pokot counties and targeted attacks in Mandera. The year also witnessed the opening of Kalo Bay Refugee Camp in Turkana and voluntary repatriation of refugees at the Dadaab Refugee Camp, where Kenya Red Cross Society was responsible for providing life-saving services in the camps such as response to cholera outbreak as part of the health and resilience programs. In the line with the mission of the Red Cross, we were among the first responders to the Huruma building collapse. Kenya Red Cross activated response teams composed of search and rescuers first aiders, ambulances, tracing to support the community members in rescue efforts of people trapped under the rubble. Through cash transfer program, the Kenya Red Cross Society dispersed Kenyan shillings 15,000 each to 152 households affected by the disaster to cater for housing and assist families to recover from their livelihoods. <laughs> Waka tutumia pesa, 15,000. Kwa mpesa, na sikuru watu wa Red Cross sana ili tusaidia. Kama mimi mwenyewe, hiyo pesa niliambua ni tafuti na onyumba. 5,000 ukilipa na deposit yake, hiyo inaingia 10,000. Alafu na hiyo deposit ya stima, ilikuwa na kuja kuwa 2,000. Hapa hile pesa watu wa Red Cross wali nitumia, ilikuwa 15,000, nilitumia 13,000. The Disaster Management Operations Department reached a total number of 4,140,546 beneficiaries. On the same breath, we continued to scale up our investments in the building of resilient communities with regards to disaster risk reduction, climate change adaptation, food security and livelihood, as well as environment management and restoration. We implemented a total of 12 integrated projects, mainly in the arid and semi-arid areas, reaching a total of 1,579,326 beneficiaries. Under the Sustainable Environment Restoration Program, community members and humanitarian agencies were mobilized to plant a total of 50,000 indigenous tree seedlings on a 20 hectares piece of land on the new Green Belt site of Dedab's Ifo 2 refugee camp. This initiative will contribute immensely to the attainment of Kenya Vision 2030. This place needs to be regenerated, the trees need to be replanted, and this place has to be returned to its normal, original uh, state. At the International Center for Humanitarian Affairs, more achievements were witnessed through advocacy initiatives policy formulation to guide implementation of our programs as well as training and capacity development. A total of 202 courses were held with 4,533 participants trained. In July, the Kenya Red Cross Society Training School became the only site in Kenya approved by the American College of Surgeons to offer advanced trauma life support course to surgeons and physicians. 
the International Center for Humanitarian Affairs, the Ministry of Health, the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, and the Kenya Red Cross Society partner with the aim of stemming the tide of non-communicable diseases and making further progress in improving health outcomes in Kenya. The agencies have produced a report entitled The Global Burden of Disease, Generating Evidence Guiding Policy in Kenya, which is the first of its kind. We uh, have seen uh, a trend that we have known that uh, Kenya is being faced by what I would say uh, a triple burden of disease, not even a, a, a dual. You know, traditionally we've been saying infectious diseases have come down, uh, non communicable diseases are on the rise, and now we have injuries to add on it. So we have a triple burden of disease to put uh, our eyes on. Youth empowerment remains central to Kenya Red Cross Society, where multiple projects targeting the youth were implemented. We held a successful National Volunteer Awards event that acknowledged the roles played by the volunteers, most who are dedicated young men and women. More youthful engagements were through the university chapters, income-generating initiatives in some branches, youth dialogues, youth in economic security project and conflict prevention. In training, some of the people who are in the country are in the country. This is especially the people who are in the country, who are in the country, who are in the country, watu wanafahamu lakini hawana ujuzi kiasi ya kwamba kama wale instructors ama wale wengine wote wamepata training ya basic sea survival. Kuna haja kubwa sana kupata mazoezi kama haya na una muhimu kiasi kikubwa sana kwa sababu once ukienda ile mambo atakuwa sema geni kwako utajua ni vipi wenye kukuta respond na ni njia gani utasaidiana na wenzako. It was a year also that we won a lot of uh, uh, accolades around the, the country and, and regionally uh, we were once again selected as a super brand organization coming out number two to M-Pesa and we're ahead of Safaricom so if nothing else it give you that uh, that satisfaction that out there people recognize the work and continue to appreciate the work of the Kenya Red Cross Society which is what we're here for. Innovation remains at the center stage of our operation aimed at improving service delivery. The Kenya Red Cross mobile application is one such innovation launched in April 2016 and currently the most advanced humanitarian aid application on mobile, Android and iOS platforms. We managed to prototype smart fire sensors, introduce mobile data collection, map beneficiaries, among many other innovations. The overall goal is to innovate for humanity and improve lives.